Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Jeff Teagan, Raleigh, your Toyota resource. Today we're looking at the RAV4 Prime. This is a 2021 XSE. It does have the extra optional, additional premium package. We're looking at cargo capacity, passenger space. I'm gonna show you many, many specs so you can get a feel for how it would fit for you and your family. This is exciting, let's go, yeah! First, I wanna start with cargo space, cargo capacity, cargo dimensions. We've got a lot of specs to show you. The one thing that's real important is I always consult with people if they ask me about cargo space, I say, if you have a vehicle that you plan on taking on family road trips, imagine the biggest road trip that you and your family are gonna take in the next three years, and how are you gonna stack that with luggage, with people, with dogs, with babies, all that stuff, and can this vehicle accommodate that? Now, if you've got a RAV4 Prime you're looking at here, but maybe you've got a giant Sequoia or a Land Cruiser or something like that, that'll be your family road trip vehicle or a Sienna or a Highlander or another brand like a Yukon. If you've got all that capacity, well, you don't have to think about this as much. You don't have to rely on it for your main road trip. Holiday road, oh, oh, oh. You don't have to plan on that. So let's look at it as is. Now remember, when we're talking about cargo volume, some people might say, I've researched the RAV4. I've researched RAV4 Hybrid. How does the Prime compare? Well, guess what? It's nearly identical in every dimension that you could compare gasoline-only RAV4, hybrid RAV4, and then the Prime. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up. I do need my handy-dandy ruler, but I'm gonna use the foot activated because this is part of the premium package. And I mean, if I've got it, use it. If you got it, flaunt it. All right, the first thing I gotta do is get out things I don't need. The charging device, don't need that right now. It's not what this video is about. We don't need that. So we'll put this over here with my notes. Tonneau cover. Holla. We don't need that. Put this over here. And then we're gonna measure behind the rear seat first. Let's get a tour of the back area. First of all, you can see the three overhead latches here for child safety seats. And then we've got a 120 volt, 1500 watt plug-in right here along with a 12 volt circular port. So it gives you a lot of versatility with what you can do with it. Little lighted. I like this extra storage compartment. You can put who knows what. And then you also have tie downs here in all four corners. It's like four square. JBL in the house. Yeah, we're gonna be doing a video on that this week. Okay, now watch this. You can move this backward or you can move it forward depending on how you wanna sit. Got that? And then we're gonna lay this down to me it's relatively fat flat not fat you know i'm fat i'm fat shaman on weird al all right so look at this here it's relatively flat it does go up with a slight incline but nothing to really write home about i don't think now i'm on a hill but this is about what the angle is because I put myself on a hill, put myself on a hill. And you can watch this video all the way through. Even if you're not buying a Prime, maybe you're interested in a RAV4 or a RAV4 hybrid. It works. It's all the same dimensions. So I'm going to measure this. This is a very imperfect lesson because right here, it's about 72 inches. Okay about 72 inches let's look down here okay math tells us that's about six feet matter of fact it is six feet but i like to talk in about that way you're not held accountable so it's about six feet now what if you wanted to put something really long like a broomstick or a piece of two by four by eight could you do it and I'm thinking this right here is eight feet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about eight foot eight. So let's round down and say it's about eight and a half feet. 
So yeah, you could put a piece of two by four lumber if you had to an eight footer or a six footer or a four footer. Anyway, the point is it would fit between the seats in a pinch if you had to. Of course, when I've always done it, you wrap it. You wrap it with a towel or anything soft so that you're not going to scrape up your electronics or the back of the car or the seats. <laughs> For my next trick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from the back of the rear seat all the way to the hatch. And that's going to be about 40.0 inches. Now, granted, that is, and that's what's listed on Toyota specs, 40.0 inches. So not saying anything weird. Also notice that there is a recline on these seats. So if you were to measure up higher, it's going to be less. But this is the maximum height or uh, distance you would have if you were measuring with that one, something flatter, smaller. This one's a little bit tougher to show, but the minimum width and the maximum width, this is gonna be 39.4 inches is the minimum. That's because, as you can see, the sides cave in where it comes to the smallest point. So 39.4, and then it goes up to 59 for your maximum width. And we're taking advantage of this extra space here. Imagine something you have at home where you need to get the most length out of, and then you're gonna put it right there, 59 inches. This is where you get the 59 inches from. From here to right about there. And when you're working solo, it's a little tough to show the height, but the minimum height for cargo is gonna be 34.5 inches. The maximum cargo height is gonna be 36 and a half. 36.6 .6 inches. So, what do you think of that panoramic roof? It's a nice day out. I should have that open, huh? As far as back seat space here for passengers, what are the people going to do, right? We've got headroom, 39.5 inches. I think for me, I'm five foot eight. It's pretty accommodating. I wonder if this roof right here might allow for just a little bit more space. I know that seems weird, but it might allow a little bit more space here because it opens up and it kind of caves up, up a little bit. That could help. I don't know. And as far as legroom, 37.8 inches. The good news is, again, there's no space for cargo or for people that's lost because this is the hybrid and electric. The Prime. Let's look over here. The only thing I think that is kind of weird is there's a, a hard backing right here for middle passengers. These seats are very comfortable. I think they do you well on a road trip. I do. Now get out. Fire drill. Fire drill, fire drill, fire drill. <laughs> I want to show, I'm going to be doing lots of videos, so I don't want to assume that you've already seen the interior. A lot of videos on this RAV4 Prime. So I'll show the interior. So if this is your first look at it, you can look in peace. Hey, don't look at my wipes. Don't look at my masks. Don't look at my drink. Don't look at anything. Look at the car. It's all about the car. Let's look inside so you can see the seating here. It's got black soft tacks with red accents and red accent stitching. It's very cool stuff. Oh, walk of shame, I left my mask out. Actually, I left another mask out. I'm not done. Disposable black. And of course I have my Star Wars mask. You don't know the power of the dark side. <sighs> Where are my admirals? I need to choke somebody. The leg room for front seat passengers is 41 inches. I think there's plenty of leg room in the front. The headroom is 37.7 inches. You cannot adjust this power passenger seat up and down. 
but you can go probably pretty far back. I wanna go back, go back and reclimb my seat, but I can't get up, I know, I know. Hi, I'm gonna show the power driver's seat so you can just see how far up you go. I'm probably gonna be out of the screen. Goes quite a bit, and then you could twist it, move it quite a bit forward so shorter people will be okay. Just watch out for the airbag here. Yeah, actually that's, oh, I'm getting squished. I wanna go back, didn't we already play this song? And do it all over, but I can't go back, I know. There's a police officer in this parking lot. I hope they don't ask me what I'm doing. And then this one goes all the way back like that. All right, I'm going to do a walk around here so that you can see the car in its full glory. This is XSE. Look at that gloss black front grille with the black chrome. It's really cool. 19 inch two tone alloy wheels. Everything is gloss black with the XSE. Reminds me of XSE hybrid. On the driver's side, you fill up with gasoline just like you normally would. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. And then over here is where you're gonna actually be plugging it in. Like a Glade plug-in, I guess you could say. I don't know if that's gonna open or not. Yeah, it's open. So you just plug in like that, and then you just find a grounded outlet in your garage or work to plug it in. What do you think, folks? All right, everybody, I'm at home. This is part two, we'll call it. So for all you ladies wondering why I changed my shirt, I got my holla back, girl. I got my holla back. I don't know if that joke's gonna work, but anyway, let's load it up. We put a big giant box in here. Got some storables, some napkins. And then we've got some kitty litter. Some potty mix. Might as well put our camping chair as well. So there's a lot that you can put in this thing. We went by the dimensions, but how does that really work in real life? Oh yeah, I forgot one thing. Gotta put our charger, right? So just like that and should shut just fine. Yeah, should shut just fine. Now we're gonna go to the outro of the video. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think of RAV4 Prime. Are you an SE person? Are you an XSE person? Would you bump up to the premium package? What do you think of supersonic red? Supersonic, supersonic, yeah, yeah. All right, follow me on Instagram at Toyota Jeff one Follow me on Facebook at Toyota Jeff toyotajeff.com. My stories are torquenews.com slash Toyota. If you want to have a little fun with me, go to TikTok. I'm at Toyota Jeff 2. Yes, somebody took Toyota Jeff. Yes, somebody took Toyota Jeff 1, but I am not throwing away my shot at TikTok fame. Anyway, thanks so much. I'll see you guys next time.